Hi, my name is Solomon, and today I will walk you through working with our Arvis simulation tool. Simply put, this is a tool that allows you to control a simulation of a dynamissile based robot as opposed to a physical robot. And there are a couple of reasons you might want to do that. One is as a try before you buy, just to see how, the, how, uh, how the, one of the robots will work in a virtual environment um, as far as how it moves before you actually buy it. Or two, you can test out your code on a simulated robot before loading it up onto a physical robot just to make sure that nothing strange is gonna happen. So how does it work? Essentially, it, it has the same ROS interfaces as the actual ROS driver node, which means that the same ROS packages that build on top of that node can also work on this simulation one. Even the Python API works as well. So let's show you some examples. For, this to, for you to do this on your laptop, you should make sure to have Ubuntu Linux and ROS installed. Also, you should have both the local bot and the ARM ROS packages installed as well. So open up a terminal by pressing Control-Alt-T and typing ROS launch interbotics XS ARM control xsarm control.launch robot model is equal to wx250 use rviz is equal to true and use sim that's the key one here is equal to true as well okay so you see the simulation of the robot is in its sleep pose just like the actual uh, physical arm would normally be so press Control shift t in the terminal. Now we're going to run the bartender script, Python script. So let's go to that directory. Rossd, innerbotics, pro, ed, the examples, Python demos, python bartender.pop. All right, so you can see it actually moving. In this case, the arm joints are working in position control mode using a time-based profile as opposed to a velocity-based profile. And in general, when you're using the simulation node, you only wanna work when you're in position mode with the time-based profile. But you can, also do, you can also control joints in velocity control mode. You can even control joints in PWM or current control mode. PWM and current, um, they act exactly the same. I really wouldn't recommend using them except just to, you know, for grippers to visualize them opening or closing at the right times. Okay, so that's that demo. Let's exit out of that. Now I'm gonna show you how the joystick ROS package also works on um, the simulation of the robot. For this, of course, you're going to need a PS4 controller connected over Bluetooth to your laptop. So in a terminal, type ROS, ROS launch, Interbotics, XS Arm Joy, XS Arm Joy dot launch robot model. We're gonna just do the VX three hundred six stuff because that's awesome. Use sim is equal to true, and then press enter. Here we have the robot, and if I'm pressing up, down, left, right, and rotate this can open up the gripper by pressing the gripper buttons and even increase the speed of the gripper by pressing the up or you can lower it and you can see it moves a lot slower okay you can uh, also rotate the arm like that it respects joint limits just like the real one would you can go to the home pose and finally go to the sleep pose Okay, so now let's show you how this works even on platforms that aren't um, just an arm. So let's do the Locobot one. So in a terminal, type ROS launch interbotics XS Locobot control XS Locobot Python dot launch robot model is equal to Locobot WX100. Use rviz is equal to true. By default, that's normally false. And then use sim. Again, key one here. Set that to true. So 
after we have the simulated our uh, locobot here let's go to this terminal and go to the locobot python demos the locobot pro cd examples and demos and we're going to run the bartender script well oh actually this robot is the Locobot Widow X250S. So that one instead. That's why it wasn't working. And we're going to run it again. There we go. Um, so something you might be wondering is why even have this tool? Why not just use Gazebo? I mean, Gazebo is meant to be used as a simulation environment. And the answer to that is, yeah, you're right, you can. But there are a few advantages to using Argus instead of Gazebo. One is Gazebo is extremely processor intensive. So let's say you have a Raspberry Pi computer, you probably don't want to be running that. Argus, on the other hand, is not as processor intensive. You could probably get away with running that on a Raspberry Pi, and it, it just saves you processor time. Um, uh, it's computationally better to, to, to work with Arvis than Gazebo on a computer. Another reason is Gazebo being such a complex simulation tool, there are a lot of different factors that go into the simulation. As a result, some weird things can happen, like gravity isn't simulated correctly, or joints might just oscillate for no reason. Whereas with Arvis, all you're doing is publishing joint states, so you can't really go wrong with that. A third thing is that Arviz, when you command joints in Arviz, your input is exactly what you see at the output. If you command a joint to go to 1.28 radians, for example, it's going to go to 1.28 radians. You're not going to see anything, any sag caused by gravity or, or any sag caused by friction. Um, and in that way, it's a great way for you to figure out if the math that you're doing is correct from a theoretical standpoint, which you're not going to necessarily get with Gazebo or another tool, which also factors in other thing, other you know force factors like gazebo or uh, uh, like like gravity or friction okay so that ends this tutorial you can see a little bit more about what the um simulation node can do by looking at the readme in the interbotics xs sdk ross package um, and i'll see you next time